Have you ever finished editing a video and when you export it, it looks crisp, sharp, and HD? But when you upload it to social media platforms like YouTube Shorts, TikTok, or Instagram, it looks blurry for some reason. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best export settings in DaVinci Resolve 18 for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. And I bet that you didn't know that YouTube actually allows you to upload in a higher bitrate which results in a better quality compared to TikTok and to Instagram. So the settings are going to be a little bit different for these two social media platforms. So let's get started with TikTok and Instagram first. So as you guys can see right here, we have a project that I was working on and now it's time to export it. So if we go down to our delivery tab, we click on custom export we want to change our file name let's let's call this tiktok slash oh, i can't tick slash slash instagram perfect location we want to place it somewhere that we could find this video now on render we click on single clip on video we click on video and in our format we click on mp4 our codec let's change this to h.264 and for our encoder we want to change this to nvidia I will always recommend NVIDIA because it exports on a faster time compared to NVIDIA or any other encoder that you have. For our resolution, we want to keep this as 1080 and 1920 and I have the vertical resolution on because that's what our settings or project is at. For your frame rate, it depends what you shot your video with. I shot it with 60 frames. If you shot it with 24 frames, 30 frames, it's fine. Just leave it. Just make sure that it matches with what you recorded it with. Our quality, we want to restrict this to 25,000. So I already have it here. The reason why it's 25,000 is because the maximum bitrate TikTok allows us to upload is 25 megabits per second. So if we go ahead and convert that 25 megabits per second to kilobits per second, we end up with this 25,000. And our encoding profile, we want to keep this in high. And our rate control, I like this as variable bitrate because it gives you the better quality. A lot of people are going to go ahead with constant, but I actually prefer variable bitrate. Our preset, this doesn't even make a difference. I tried it doing very fast and I tried it doing very slow. The resolution is the same. So I will just keep this as very fast. Tuning, we want this high quality. And on two pass, we want this in full. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and save this as a preset right here. Here, and we are gonna call this TikTok render. So now every time you have a project to render, instead of doing this all over again, you could just go to your customs or to your presets and it's going to be right here. Now for YouTube, the maximum bitrate that it allows us is something crazy like 85,000, but I found that the sweet spot is 40,000. And these other settings are just the same as TikTok and Instagram, but the berry was the one that was different. So now if you guys want, you could save this as a preset and you could call it whatever you want. I'm going to call this shorts render. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, don't forget to please subscribe and hit the button and see you guys later. Take it easy guys.